Hi guys, in this video I'm just going to classify lots of different igneous rock samples. In this video I'm going to be using a lot of the terms that we've covered in the previous two videos. So if you haven't watched those videos just yet, I would suggest you go and watch them because I will be relying on a lot of the information that we covered in those videos in this one. So here's our first igneous rock sample. Firstly I would say that it is rather dark in colour and therefore contains minimal quartz within it. Because quartz is silica, I would say that the rock is a mafic rock, possibly even ultramafic. I would then say that the rock is hollow crystalline, however the crystals are very small and therefore cannot really be seen with the naked eye. Therefore I would probably say that it's an aphanitic rock. Because the crystals are so small, we can assume that the molten rock cooled very quickly. And finally, a rock which fits all of these descriptors is usually called basalt. Here we have another very dark igneous rock with minimal quartz. I would say that it is mafic to ultramafic, probably more ultramafic. It is a crystalline rock and I would say that it is hollow crystalline and has a phaneritic texture. It is formed from the slow cooling of a mafic magma. This sample is similar to the sample just before as it is formed from a mafic magma. However, this one is intrusive while the other was extrusive. This rock we would call gabbro. This sample is hollow crystalline, has a phaneritic texture and therefore cooled slowly underneath the earth. The sample has some quartz, however it still contains 